guys, it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez a mi canal. But if you are new here, what is Gucci? As you can tell, today is going to be another one of my TJ Maxx and Marshalls hauls that I love doing because I had gone so many times within the last few months. I have one thing that I got on sale from Halloween, so I'm going to start with that. I just picked up this little decorative, I don't know, like string pillow thing. I thought it was kind of cute but creepy at the same time-ish, kind of, sort of. Got pumpkins and black cats. It says it's a garland. I guess that's what it's called. So it's a six foot garland by the brand Mortar and Bone. But I ended up getting this marked down, obviously, because I bought it after Halloween. This, again, I bought like a few weeks ago. So I got it for $6.50. It looks like before, though, they were trying to get $12.99 for it. And it says compare at $19. So. And then every single year, I pick up cat toys or the gatos. And now I have two cats to be buying presents for. So if you guys don't know, I do have a new kitten. Well, she was new as of October. She was six months old, six weeks old in October. So how old does that make her now? I don't know. Not that old. But I have two cats to buy for now and she's a kitten so she loves playing with everything so it just makes me so happy. The toys will actually get played with. I got a few things. I love getting them from TJ Maxx and Marshalls because they're only like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. That's kind of the price range that I stay within for their toys. I feel like I look really pale today. I want to say it's the lighting. I got one of these before and both of the cats really, really love it. Instead of catnip inside, it's actually mint. Oh, Mally actually really likes the smell of mint, I've noticed. So she really likes this. It's all also, like, it helps to clean their teeth, I guess. I don't know. I just know they like it. This was only $1.99 from TJ Maxx, so I was like, that's a yes. Also picked up just this little guy right here. I don't know if anyone really cares about the brand, just if you guys see it. Again, this was only $1.99. Another one for only $1.99, just this little. Then, you guys know, I had to pick up some more candles because I love candles around the winter time. I picked up this one mainly because it caught my eye, this beautiful pink container. You guys know that I like to reuse my my canisters or whatever. This is by the brand Wolf and Lamb. It's in the scent Honeysuckle. I love the way Honeysuckle smells. This was only $6.99. I got it from Marshalls. I think I actually ended up getting this in Delaware, so there was no tax on it. This one smells so, so good. Obviously, as you can tell, I haven't burnt it yet, so I don't know if it fills the house well, but it smells so good. I cannot wait to try it. I found some of the Everyday Lux, which you guys know is my favorite brand of candles to get from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This is actually a holiday collection by them. This one is Christmas. It is Nutmeg Spice and Cinnamon Spruce. And then you can tell these apart from the other candles because they do have a really nice decorative lid that just says Holiday Collection Everyday Lux so it'll be easier to find it. It's just a red candle. This one has kind of a different scent to it. I think it's because of the cinnamon spruce. Some people might not like. I usually gravitate more towards spruce or like pine scented candles, especially around Christmas time, but this one is like a nice change from that. And then from that same collection from Everyday Lux, I got this one. It is just the pine wreath. This one is classic pine and aromatic wood, so pine, you know? Ugh. It smells so good because it smells like pine. You do get that pine, but then it also smells like outdoorsy. Like it's like an airy pine. It's not like straight up pine, if that makes any sense. It's got the same lid, so it's easy to find. Everyday Luxe, you guys know I love this brand. It fills the home so nicely. It is a three wick candle, so it does give you a little bit better scent. Maybe that's why it fills it better. They're soy blend wax, so. I did pick up one item of clothing. You guys know I usually try not to look at any of the clothes when I'm there at TJ Maxx and Marshalls because I do not need any more clothes. My friend was looking at clothes and she was just picking up all the best like plaid like thermals and I was just like oh my gosh I need I got this uh, like plaid shirt I don't have any that are this like color it's just a really nice dark blue color by the brand the Reb is that Thread or Thread Supply? Thread Supply? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it is Thread Supply. <laughs> I got this for $16.99. Don't really like that price, but it's so nice. Like I said, I didn't have that color in like these plaid, like, what are they, thermal plaid button-ups? Uh, it says compare at $22, so I had to get that. I got it in a large so that it fit me really nice and loose and comfy. And I picked up a new Adidas hat, so it's just this black and white striped one. I got this one marked down a little bit to $6 is how much I ended up paying for it. It looks like they were trying to get $7.99 for it before, but it says compare at $10. That's cool. It just says Adidas on the side, so yeah. And then I find... Okay. <laughs> 
I've been looking for a new phone case for a while, so I finally picked one up. I got this one, and I'm in love with it. I had actually wanted one of those like light-up phone cases forever, and I never ended up getting one. Finally have one. It is by Rebecca Minkoff, and I love Rebecca Minkoff bags, so this was great. I love her stuff. I actually already have this on my phone, so it's right here. It's really cool, like almost metallic-y. I don't know. It like has a weird shape to it, but it turns on, and it's also dimmable. If you can kind of see it go down back up I do still want to put a what's it called a pop socket on it because I'm just so used to using pops pop sockets now so I think I'm gonna just put a pop socket right there because I just I need it this was only $9.99 it's just compared $18 I thought that was an amazing price especially for one that lights up and then you guys know or if you don't know now I'm letting you know I'm obsessed with my planners and just making sure my life is organized with my planners love them I got a few things for that I picked up this flat pen and now my mom wants one of these too so I have to find another one this is just by the brand Bobino it is their slim pen but it's like super flat which is kind of cool this was only $2.99 so I thought it was cool to like try out put in my planner see how I like it and if I don't it was only three dollars it says compare at four dollars but I bet you this maybe cost like ten dollars ten fifteen I didn't look it up though so I have no idea but then I picked up some of these like paper markers you get so many on here which is really why I wanted to pick it up these just have cats but they're like drawn cats on here I just think they're so cute and I like the colorway of them too but this was only a dollar ninety nine and you get so many of these by the brand or is that the brand it just says fun tabs 12 sticky page markers so I guess you get 12 different like colorways of them but they're pretty thick so you get a lot of each color they say compare at three dollars I already say that but so many and then I picked up some more these all have different little pictures on it this one has um, like a rainbow there's I love tacos there's an envelope um, a donut ooh and a little cactus it just says hug me on the cactus again this is only a dollar ninety nine it says compare at three dollars so again I thought this was a really great price if you're into planners or anything like that or even like reading a lot and you want something to mark your pages or something I think it's I think these are cute and they're only two dollars and if you get them in Delaware there's no tax now on into the makeup which I'm sure a lot of you guys are here for I've been trying more and more to dabble into Stila because you guys always tell me that I should try the Stila stuff and there's been so many products at TJ Maxx and Marshall's Lake I picked up kind of a little bit of a handful of their lip liners to try out I'm really big about lip liners I'm like really particular about them they need to go on smooth but I don't like the ones that feather out I'm just picky these are the stay all day lip liners these are only three $3.99 which is like NYX ish price but definitely drugstore pricing which is amazing they say compare at six dollars I don't know how much they usually cost but so I got a few different colors I got this one in kind of like a nude color Ooh, the packaging of these is like really really nice also I haven't looked at these in a while I got these a few weeks ago this first one is in the color Marsala so that's like a nude I guess we're trying to go like lightest to darkest kind of ish yeah then I got this one which is kind of like a really pale almost nude pink in the color pink Moscato super excited for this color I got this really pretty pink just like a basic pink it is in the color rose and then for the darkest color that I did pick up it's just this really pretty almost like berry like a berry red color it's in the color Merlot so I got all the drinks colors I've been seeing these Smashbox little trios everywhere and for the longest time I was like I do not need them I'm not gonna get them but then I saw this purple one one day and I was like okay maybe I could get it I've been more into getting smaller more compact makeup especially for traveling when I go visit Delaware because it just makes it easier less to travel with you know but I want the high-end stuff if I can find it yeah I found this purple one and I was like okay we're gonna get these today these are $7.99 I actually found mine at Marshalls they say compare at $13 but these are super cute Smashbox I do enjoy the smash box. oh so they do have like names for like the set so this is in hashtag repost looks like the color names oh my gosh this is so cute it literally looks like a lens like a camera lens I didn't even take this out of the box it looks like a camera lens that is so crazy okay <laughs> anyways looks like the white color in here is sparkle pony and you get say what and stormy I don't know I thought this was really pretty purple I usually like on my eyes so yeah it was only eight dollars smashbox then I got this one in the set nudie pick in deep so I guess there might be difference 
once of these and $7.99. That is so crazy. I can't believe I didn't even take this out to look at the packaging. This was another one that I thought would be nice for me and I thought it would be nice to carry both of them together because this is all matte so that I would have something for my crease, something to put down as like the base color and then I could put some purple on top, travel with both. I thought that would be nice. There was another colorway. I think it was a lighter color. Maybe it was the lighter version of this but I just thought it was way too pale for me so I actually didn't get it. I have been looking at the Lorac Beauty and the Beast kind of collection for a while now. I just couldn't get this because I was getting so many other things every time I ended up going to the store but my friend finally bought it for me. So thank you Vanessa, muchas gracias for this because I had wanted them so bad and I'm so glad I have them now because they are even prettier than they look in the packaging. This is just a set of five different color lipsticks from Lorac. This was $16.99. It says compare at $22, but these are beautiful. If you guys are familiar with my channel at all, you guys know I love Lorac, especially their limited edition collections because their packaging is just it. It is it. Here is all of them together. They're super reflective because they are like metallic-y. These are so gorgeous. They actually have flowers all over the packaging. I just, I'm in love with them. Oh, they're just so, 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 so pretty. They are kind of more muted colors, except for this bright kind of like fuchsia color. There's this new color, it's True Beauty. It's that brighter fuchsia, which I accidentally knocked on the top of the lid because I'm awesome. And this color is in Red Rose. Oh, these are the mod lipsticks is what they're called. And then you get kind of like a peachy nude. This is in the color Belle Eve. Like believe, but it says Belle. And then you get this nice, ooh. This looks like it'll be a really nice nude for deeper skin tones also. This is in the color Trey Chic. Or is this the peachy nude? I don't know, you guys know my eyeballs are like rough. This is in the color, I don't even know what that says. It's French, Savoir Faire, Savoir Faire. These are gorgeous. Definitely if you're into Lorac or into limited edition makeup, this is like a must, honestly. The packaging is gorgeous. And then I did find a few Kat Von D items. I managed to find this little Locket Mini Baking Duo. I got mine in the color Medium 27, which is a warm, and I feel like it's actually the perfect color for me. They had a ton of just this color. I haven't seen any other color yet. This was only $7.99. It says compare at $15, but you're getting two products in here. Ah, okay. You're getting the Locket Setting Powder, and this one is actually in translucent, so I feel like you're really only reaching for the color of the concealer. Oh, this actually looks really light now that I pull it out. Great. So you're getting the translucent powder. I know a lot of the other powders that had been around for a while now are all in like petal or golden I see a lot, but this one is translucent, so it's just the white. You get a little mini concealer. I'm not gonna open it or swatch it just because I don't wanna put air into it yet. Sticking with the Kat Von D stuff, one of her brushes, so I'm super excited. Looks like this is the, it says Pinsian Contour. It looks like it's a, a, like a crease brush. I got this one for $9.99 says compare at $15. These are really nice. They come wrapped up in the plastic still. Brush out and even this is wrapped up in plastic. And I love the brush, like the style of this brush, how it gets thinner. It goes like a point. But so there is the brush. It's a really nice blending brush. I love getting blending brushes because sometimes it can be a little bit harder for me to find the perfect size blending brush. Excited to find this and add this to my collection. Lastly from Kat Von D, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you guys should be, it's down in the description box below though if you are not, but it's the same as the YouTube channel. Just miss my luck 91, but this has already been on my Instagram because I got super excited when I found it. It is another one of the Shade and Light palettes, but it's in a different color. It's in the color Fawn. So I have all the other ones. When I found this, I almost didn't look at the color because I was like, I have all those already, but I didn't because I didn't have this one. This one, again, was the same price as all the other ones. It was $9.99. It says compare at $15. So if you already have all of these Shade and Light Eye Quads, Make sure you're still checking them because there's a new color out, Fawn. You get the little paper in there. It just looks the same as all of the other little shade and light eye quads. And then it has the colors on the back on that sticker. And then you get a mirror on the inside just like the other ones. And here is the color of it. So this one's cute. It is different from the other ones. So again, this is Fawn. This one, which is kind of messy because I've used it multiple times. This is the new one. This is in Fawn. This one's in Rust that's been out for a little while now. Now. But so that's what it looks like compared paired to smoke. So you do have that white one that's in smoke right here, but it is different. Ooh, I'm trying to match it up with this guy, but it is still different from the one that's in the smoke palette. That kind of helps. <laughs> I did kind of splurge, but I had to pick up Mac 
I love MAC products, especially if I can get them from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and save some moolah, baby. This is the front, but it's kind of hard to see. Oh, it says MAC right there. Um, A little like holiday set from MAC. Kind of pricey, so it was definitely a splurge for me. It was $19.99, but it says compare it $29.50. I don't know. Cute little bag once you take it out. And then it has just a little like disco ball. And then it says MAC on the zipper pull. In here, you get three little mini lipsticks. I'm a sucker, especially for the mini MAC lipsticks, okay? I think they're all nude colors. There's the first one. It's in the color Boca. It's a satin lipstick. I think they're all satin. I don't know. So this is the only satin in Boca. Then you get a matte this one, ooh, I like this one. It's more of like a peachy pink nude. This one is kind of sexy. It is another matte lipstick. You get this one in the color Cocktail Kiss. Ooh, so a darker shade in Cocktail Kiss. So that was nice. You ended up going from lightest to darkest, actually. <laughs> Obviously, you get this cute little bag, which I think I want to reuse for something. I want to keep it in my purse, but I feel like all that glitter will get really, really messed up, so... I gotta figure out a way to reuse this bag. That is everything from this TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything out there that you are currently looking for, I am giving you the positivity vibes right now so that you guys find it. If you enjoyed this video though, please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you guys are enjoying them and I do more. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what you doing? Make sure you hit the subscribe down below and the bell that's next to it so that you guys get alerted every single time I post a video so that you guys also don't miss out on the giveaways when I decide to throw those in there because I never put it in the title or anything. They're just random. Hope you guys enjoyed the video um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.